By now, you've heard the bad news. Those finks at Apple removed the headphone jack from the new iPhone 7. Here's the good news. They filled that space with precious life-sustaining battery and a bunch of other useful stuff like a much better camera, which we used to film this entire video. Testing the 7 and 7 Plus for a week, I found Apple has fixed some of what's long ailed the iPhone, and that's reason enough to get over the headphone thing and upgrade. Let me be clear. The iPhone 7 is not the most advanced smartphone money can buy. I'd say it's the best smartphone of 2015. That's when Apple should have put it on sale, instead of the iPhone 6S that added frivolous stuff like a pressure-sensitive screen. Apple's still playing catch-up with the six-month-old Samsung Galaxy S7. While Samsung has moved on to incredible edgeless screens and virtual reality goggles, this iPhone 7 looks, well, pretty much identical to the two-year-old iPhone 6, aside from a new shiny black finish that's an incredible fingerprint magnet. But that doesn't mean you'll be disappointed buying the iPhone 7. You might call it the anti-anxiety iPhone. Think about all the ways iPhones have been responsible for raising global blood pressure over the last decade. Excuse me, do you have an iPhone charger? The anxiety has always started with having to beg, borrow, and steal places to charge our dying iPhones throughout the day. Can I charge my iPhone? But thanks to that missing headphone jack, the iPhone 7 has room for a 14% larger battery. It's also got a more power-efficient processor that helps it keep on ticking. In my punishing battery lab test, I've gotten at least an hour and a half more life out of the 7 and 7 Plus, and even more in regular use. Could Apple do more about battery life? Yes. If you hammer your phone all day long, I can't guarantee you can throw away that awful looking battery backpack just yet. But a 7 will help. And any iPhone owner knows the terror of getting one anywhere close to water. Don't do it! With the iPhone 7, it survived the pond and this fish tank. Don't get too clever. Apple's warranty still doesn't cover water damage, but the new phone does have the ability to stay alive and up to a meter of water for 30 minutes. Just don't forget to dry it off. Then there's taking photos. When the sun starts to set, a timer starts if you're using the old iPhone. At night, shots just come out dark or blurry. The iPhone 7 has a new sensor and lens that let in much more light, meaning dark shots are finally on par with Samsung's phones. Video quality is better too. In a dim bar, the iPhone did a decent job photographing my buddy Nate, while the 6S made him look like Sasquatch. Apple's most unusual move was adding that second lens on the 7 Plus. It's nice if you can't quite get close enough to your subject, though a cheap point-and-shoot would be able to zoom in much, much more. So let's talk about the number one reason you might consider skipping this iPhone, the death of the headphone jack. It's important to understand the iPhone 7 still comes with corded earbuds. They just plug into the lightning port now. They also come with an adapter that lets you use any regular headphones. But what they really like you to do is go wireless with Apple's new $160 AirPods that begin shipping in October. They look like a cross between earrings and the brush heads on electronic toothbrushes. They're not for the forgetful, but I actually enjoyed using them in the park and at the office. So why is it worth giving up the headphone jack in the 7? Because it freed up space in a phone that's already more packed than a subway car for more practical things that we've really needed in our phones. 